first you take the legs off, and sometimes you'll have some meat that will come out of the legs and you pull that off so there's no waste. Then you pull the back shell off, cut off the mouth, then you go to the uh, fins and the dead man's fingers, and I cut them all at one time. Go to the other side and cut that. And sometimes you will have a piece of meat that will stay in the fin. And then you take your knife and you go down. You don't want to cut down too deep because if you do, you're going to tear up your lump. Then on this side, I just take my knife and go like that, squeeze the top, and if there's any meat left, I go back and get it. And on that side, it's still more, because I didn't cut it deep enough. Go in with your knife and pull out up on this side, you go this away. Then you go into your cavities and get your special. Sometimes a little bone will hook onto the end of it. The claws come off first, and as you notice, there is some meat left into the claw. You pull off. If you don't, there's a waste right there. Pull the back shell, take out the fat, cut the mouth, then your dead man's fingers or gills, the knuckles, pardon, a wrench in motion, and on one side I leave the dead man's fingers and pull them that way. Go down. And get that meat out of the top. As you notice, there's meat on the top. Then you've got a bone, and you cut the bone off. You have more meat inside. Go down. You notice meat has stayed in there. This part of it has stayed in the crab. So you go and you cut. Now, if the crab's real fat, this is the way I do it. Some I can squeeze out and some I can't. And I always leave a bone there. And there's your lump. You're special. And whatever you do when you're picking, make sure you pick the tops. Don't let the ball see you throwing the tops away because you could get in trouble. You're throwing a lot of his meat away. Okay, you crack, crack this end of it, which normally, normally you have a stone that you crack on. If it doesn't come out, you just keep cracking until it does and you'll get a piece of meat Then you turn the claw around. And when the meat doesn't come out of the top just right, you always have a piece that is left here. You pull that off. Take your knife, go down in there, and pull out your piece of claw. Now you see this one came out perfect. Get that meat off. That side didn't. It left a piece on the end. You pull that. You go down and get it. The meat, rest of the meat out of the shell. 
That one came out good. Okay. Uh oh, cracked it up. You can crack this up too high. You need to crack it down in here. But as you notice, I cracked it too high. That piece came right out perfect. Oh, and that's your claw meat. Okay, first you pull the claws off. Oh, you want me to do it? mouth, the gills, and then you go down and you cut the knuckles. Turn the crab around and cut your knuckles off. As you notice, there's meat that came out. You notice how I went down in there? Down and cut that top off. Sometimes it leaves a little shell right up in here. You make sure you get that. Get your lump. Which... Crab is clean. The claws first, back shell, your fat, and the mouth of the crab. Get your dead man or fans off. Now, you'll notice I'm working in two cans. One is for your back fin, and one is for your lump. 